Okay, I think we're uh, ready to begin. Uh, I'd like to welcome all of you. Uh, good afternoon and thank you for joining us today. My name is Lois Bunce and I'm president of United Way of East Central Iowa and we're delighted to have you here today. Uh, every year United Way works with hundreds of companies and thousands of individuals to raise more than $10 million. These funds are then allocated back to nonprofit agencies to help children, families, and seniors, particularly those that are most in need. In June of this past year, a group of Quaker Oats employees, known as the Shipping 20, won the $241 million Powerball jackpot. Each ticker holder received approximately $5.6 million. And this group is one department of a really, really great company. Quaker Oats and the PepsiCo Company have been longtime supporters of United Way. Each year, their employees, combined with a corporate match, raise over $150,000 for United Way. The company also allows two employees to come and work during our campaign season, and they also participate in the Day of Caring. Today, we are delighted to announce that one of the Powerball winners has made a contribution to the United Way Endowment, which is held at the Greater Cedar Rapids Community Foundation. Donors who make a pledge to the United Way Endowment are part of what we call a Touch Tomorrow Society. Uh, currently, we have about 55 members of that society. These are individuals or couples who have either pledged or contributed a cash gift uh, and currently we have about $3.3 .3 million in our endowment. Our goal is to increase our endowment to over $5 million by the year 2014. And this gift is particularly significant to us because it accomplishes two goals. Each year the interest that's earned on that gift becomes an annual contribution to our campaign while the principal or the actual cash remains in the endowment. It's truly a gift that's going to keep on giving because it'll address the, meet, the needs of the community not only now but in future years and in many, many years to come. It's also been a wonderful partnership for us to work with the Greater Cedar Rapids Community Foundation. So at this point, what I'm going to ask is Les Garner, who is seated uh, directly to my left on the end, uh, <coughs> president of the Community Foundation, to speak a little bit about um, this partnership in the Iowa tax credits. And then we're going to turn it over to Kelly Malford, who is our uh, contributor and Powerball winner. And Kelly will take questions uh, during the press conference, uh, but he will not do questions when, once we're done with the press conference. So Les, I'm going to turn it over to you. Thank you, Lois. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here, and it's an even greater pleasure to be a partner with United Way with Kelly in making this endowment gift possible. Uh, first, I want to commend Kelly for his commitment to the community as evidenced by this gift and by his long-standing uh, dedication to the United Way. Uh, Thank we're you. We're really proud of that and proud to acknowledge it. Um, this gift, as Lois has indicated, is an endowment gift, and because of that, Kelly's commitment to the in United Way will continue forever. The a gift, the endowment gift, will generate an annual contribution to the United Way uh, in perpetuity. And we are pleased to be a partner with that, and we're pleased uh, as well to bring to the table as we build the United Way's endowment uh, the Endow Iowa Tax Credit Program. Iowa's the only state in the nation that offers a 25% credit against income ta state income taxes for a gift made to an endowment fund at a community foundation in the state. And we're delighted to offer that to this community. We're delighted to use it in the service of the United Way. Uh, and we are very, very pleased uh, to be here and to thank Kelly for a remarkable gesture. Well, thank, thank you, you, sir. <laughs> Thanks, Les. Well, I guess it's my turn now. So uh, <laughs> my name's Kelly Mulford. Uh, I'm a 36-year employee of Quaker Oats in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, and yes, I'm one of the shipping 20. Uh, there's um, uh, something that I want to add. It's Annie and I uh, that have uh, made sure that the community of Cedar Rapids is going to benefit from our gift. Um, my wife, Annie, is, is uh, 
on vacation today, and so uh, I'm here alone, uh, in, but not in my heart, so she's here. But uh, one of the reasons uh, Annie and I looked at giving back to the community is because, number one, I've lived here all my life, and uh, I've been a, a supporter of uh, the community for years. Uh, but through United Way, uh, since I started a Quaker back in uh, 76, um, I, uh, I, I, I just always gave something, you know, an hour a month, uh, which was a fair share uh, gift to our uh, uh, campaign. Um, as my, you know, time grew, uh, my whiskers grew grayer, uh, I realized that I could do a little bit more and I became a little more involved with United Way. Uh, I was lucky enough to be chosen as one of the uh, loaned executives uh, back in the late 90s and uh, ran a couple of uh, pretty successful campaigns uh, within local businesses uh, and helped raise our, uh, our goal those two years I was uh, a loaned executive. So I mean it, it was really uh, a full immersion into United Way then uh, and then I was a board member for a couple years. And then my life changed. Things uh, sort of, uh, sort of made a few hiccups, and uh, you know there was time for me to need uh, some of the agencies. Uh, and you know I don't tell those stories often, so I'm not going to tell them now. <laughs> but knowing that your agencies are out there, the United Way uh, uh, agencies are out here to help everybody. Uh, made a difference in in my life and in my family's life during those tough years. Uh, and I sort of got out of uh, being involved in the United Way during those years, but I was always a giver. I always did give uh, through the uh, payroll deduction. Uh, well, okay, enough of that. Fast forward, uh, let's go to June 13th uh, this year. Uh, I'm sitting in the break room and I've got our Powerball numbers. Uh, there's a group of 20 of us that uh, had gotten copies of our tickets. And as I got on the webpage for the Iowa Powerball, uh, uh, the Iowa Lottery, I saw the Powerball numbers and I thought somebody was pulling our leg. I can't tell you uh, some of the words that were coming out because uh, we were going nuts. Uh, it was crazy. We realized it was real. Uh, the money was there uh, in our hands. Well, not really, but they, we realized, wow, we're, 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 we won. You know, there's that woohoo that comes on when you win. Well, we heard it. Um, and in our heads and we had a blast I mean we were flying around I especially uh, you know it was flying pretty high I had to you know I had to get reined in a little bit uh, I uh, my wife had just moved back uh, or down from Minnesota uh, and gotten a job with the city of Cedar Rapids uh, the story goes she worked uh, for 33 years for the state of Minnesota at the school for the blind and, and deaf up there in Faribault uh, moved down to Iowa, got a job with the city of Cedar Rapids for eight days, and I carried her off the job after we won the Powerball. Okay, so we're flying high. We we finally got our you know feet on the ground and started getting our our, our people involved. Uh, and I say our people. I'm talking about uh, my my ex-wife Teresa uh, helped us get some people lined up. She has a business in town, uh, and it's a great way to sort of you know uh, part of the story but the the key thing about it was we've we got our started to get our ducks in a row now uh, we got our financial advisors uh talking to us about what happens next um annie and i both have always given back to the community and it was a no-brainer it was it, we didn't have to think much about what we were doing uh when we decided to make a gift back to the united way uh, Annie also is a supporter for the American Lung Association up in Minnesota. Um, there's a lot of things that we have uh, thought about, but United Way was something that wasn't uh, too far from our hearts right away. So when we looked at our, our financials uh, and with the, the help of Les and, and Lois and other people looking at uh, where the gifts would do the most good and how we can make it stretch out, uh, we decided to give back through the, the Greater Cedar Rapids Foundation. Uh, it was a tax break. Uh, it was a neat thing uh, that's offered no place else uh, that I know of. Uh, and, and so why not give back to the community even more than what the original gift was? So the gift that Annie and I will be giving forever now will be between three and $4,000 a year. And that's to help the 
well stated homeless shelter the, the the kids that are in girl scouts the the people that are are uh in need of some legal service uh and can't afford it uh it's all the agencies that are so well uh managed by the united way that uh we're giving back to and you know it makes my heart feel good uh that we're able to do that by the grace of god we won the lottery uh i say that because you know, and I don't say I pray for uh, a lottery win, but it was something that was given to us to let us do something good for, with it. Uh, just so you know, we had fun too. We did have a good time. We we bought a, uh, a car. It's a it's a used car. Uh, a, you know, so you might see us driving around in it, but. Uh, uh, it's a new to us car, and then uh, you know Annie and I have, uh, are travelers, and we like to uh, help our families. Um, and we're uh, both retiring. Uh, Annie retired from the state. Uh, I will be retiring from Quaker. And uh, after 36 years, uh, I have worked with the great people of uh, Quaker Oats in Cedar Rapids, and uh, I, I got to say, uh, it'll be you know tough to leave, but. Uh, Minnesota's good, and uh, I'll always be the guy with the Hawkeye shirt on up in Minnesota, so it'll be a little tough. You mentioned what the actual cash gift was? The, the gift that Annie and I gave uh, is $75,000. Uh, some of that would be matched by PepsiCo. Um, and then uh, through the Greater Cedar Rapids Foundation, the, uh, the gift will give uh, forever. And I'd say in perpetuity but I always skip that word because I <laughs> screw up <laughs> so, <laughs> so anyway that's I mean that's our story uh, I'm gonna stick to it so uh, I really got to say these folks at United Way everybody in the room that's uh, associated with United Way have been great uh, you know I got to say this too um, if you've got a dollar, if you got five bucks, if you got ten bucks to give to United Way, great. If you have a, a chance to, um, you know, maybe give a little more this year, uh, there's a lot of need in our community. You know, since 2008, four years to the day that our lottery ticket was won, we had uh, the flood in 2008 uh, crest. So look at the date, 2013 and 2000, or 2012 and 2008 on the 13th of June. Uh, there's been a lot of changes, but there still needs some uh, more help out there. There's, uh, there's a need in our communities. Uh, so I, you know, I urge it, each and every one of you that uh, haven't made a decision on a gift, uh, look at the United Way, look at the Greater Cedar Rapids Foundation, or just write a check for $10 or whatever that you can afford to, to help us, uh, help our community. That's Great. good. Um, do questions now? Yeah. 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 Uh, Kelly, you mentioned um, at one point needing the services of United Way. Have you noticed a need? You've lived in Cedar Rapids your whole life. Have you noticed a need in the community? Is that why you wanted to really contribute this year especially? Well, you know, I guess uh, there's always uh, something out there. You know, the, the, the agencies are so, you know, broad that, you know, it, like I said, it really doesn't matter what kind of income level you're at. You, or you're going to need some agency at some time in your life or a friend. And there's nobody in this room that can't, be, can't say that somebody they know or somebody uh, close to them or themselves has used a, a United Way agency at some point in their lives. So it's always been in my mind. So the, the, the gift of the, the, the lottery win is really sort of a let's give back to the community type of thing too. It's a win-win for everybody, so. Uh, if you could tell us about maybe the other members of your ship, Shipping 20, people always say they're gonna donate to charity. When they win the lottery, it seems like you guys are actually doing that. Why was yeah. that so important for the group to do? After well, I don't know anything about the, the rest of the group, uh, and I can't speak for anybody else in the Shipping 20. Um, I you know, would say that I know personally most of the, everybody in the, the group, so uh, the decision is a personal choice. Uh, so uh, speaking for myself and my wife, Annie, uh, we chose United Way because we see the benefit to the community and how it's well uh, organized and, and the funds are, are put to work for the community, not uh, some, you know, it's right here. It's right here in, in all our, our counties. So, yeah, I, as far as the rest of the group, I'm sure they're doing their thing. 
Uh, but I, I, I don't know. Uh, they're going to know what I'm doing, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So much for the secret. <laughs> Well, that was my next question. You just mentioned it. Knowing that the United Way funds of East Central Iowa stay right here in the community, was that a big part of it for you? That's, yeah, I mean, that's, that's a, a huge part of uh, giving back to the community. But, uh, uh, and that's one of the reasons we looked at the, the American Lung Association. But I also have other charities that I'm giving to, uh, the church here. And uh, there's, uh, there's a little dog race that I've been involved with, the Iditarod. <laughs> Uh, and I've been a, a volunteer for years that uh, I'll be writing a check for them, uh, which is, it, I mean, I could talk about Alaska. If you guys start, start yeah. me on Alaska, look out. <laughs> but, you know, so I mean, yeah, the funds up there go to a different type of thing. But uh, that's the fun thing about it is that we were able to choose the, the different donations that we wanted to. But this was the key one uh, for me. And uh, I think that uh, was a deciding factor, yes, uh, that it stays here in the community. And, and like I say, anybody in this room I could see, uh, we've all been affected by one of the agencies and one and helped by one of the agencies at one time or another. All right, last one for me. I won't drill you. All right, good. <laughs> um, Oh gosh, I think I just forgot it. Oh, oh no, I got it. Okay. I remember now. Um, you guys, I mean, you went through a lot of trouble to keep your identities um, secret. Why come out today? Why be a part of this press conference? Why make this donation today? And why come out and be public about it? Well, again, I can't speak for the, the Quaker tw or Shipping 20. I only speak for myself. Um, what I felt the need to say uh, to the community is that the United Way could could use an influx right now um, and why not this is the time of year to give um, you know and I, I that wasn't the reason we came out with this story right now uh, it, it's because you know what it's a good time of year to, to think about giving back and uh, you know in my heart I feel uh, this is this is something that I feel a, a real good thing is going to come out of it. Uh, it's all about being good. Now, as far as our identities being secret, that only lasted for 30 days or whatever. And we were on the front page of the Des Moines Register, um, which, you know, so be it. But guys, you know, we're all working class people. We've worked our way through 36 years of, of keeping a roof over our, our kids' heads and our families fed and, and so they can go to school and stuff like that. And that's what it was about, and we were blessed with good jobs. Um, you know, this was this was just sort of neat. And you know, here I am out being outspoken, maybe about one good thing. Let's keep it a good thing, and I like that. You know, United Way is a good way to go. So, thanks, Tom. You bet. Thank you. Any other questions? Anyone has? Yeah. But, so, uh, do you have a? Have you always done something? No, I've, I've worked uh, at Quaker for 36 years, and I think out of the 36 years, I've given 35 of those years. Uh, and I'm also, you know, I, I, I do give back to the community in other ways. Um, uh, Day of Caring is a United Way event that I've been involved with. Um, I'm a uh, past master of my Masonic Lodge in Marion, Lodge Number no. Six, and uh, we provide. Uh, a uh, thing called Clothe a Child. It's a program that uh, helps kids uh, that are, are identified by a United Way agency in need. And uh, that Clothe a Child uh, program is also a, uh, benefited from our, our lottery win. But I've been giving back to the community for most of the time I've lived here. Uh, I remember walking the streets for March of Dimes and, and all that stuff when I was a kid. It was something that's instilled in, I think, the Cedar Rapids Marion area in kids and and when we were growing up that's what we did we we worked uh, you know you, you had instead of going out after candy you went after dimes at, at halloween mm -hmm. um you know you did the jerry lewis telethon on labor day weekend and those kind of things are just sort of instilled in our our community so i've been blessed by my parents and uh, they passed on but they gave me something that uh has stuck with me and my family so any other questions? Obviously, you have a different perspective of money now that you have more than you did. Yeah. Um, what would you say to people who are the working class people who don't have millions of dollars they're sitting on? 
what would you say to them about giving? Well, again, June 13th was a change in the life, but it didn't change in my perspective. It just gave me an opportunity to give a little bit more. Uh, I was giving back to the community uh, prior to this for, again, like I say, over 35 years. Um, it's a great way to get through payroll deduction. You don't notice it's gone. Um, I think uh, with the companies that are out here uh, in Cedar Rapids area, most of them offer that. Um, give what you can. Uh, maybe give up a, a pop or a, you know, whatever, a candy bar or whatever uh, vice you may have um, for one day of the month and give it back to the community. And uh, volunteer your time. That's another thing that you can do. Uh, it doesn't cost money to volunteer time. So there's always a need in the community. So you don't have to be a millionaire to uh, give back. Uh, just understand that it really isn't about your income level of, the, uh, of what you make every year. Something could happen in your life where you may need one of these agencies. So let's keep them uh, here and viable in our area. Anything? Can we get you to spell your name for us so that we get a correct name? Yeah, that'd be great. It's M-U-L-F-O-R-D, and my first name is Kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, and my wife's name is Annie, A-N-N-E. And uh, well, my kids are still in here uh, in the area. Uh, I've got a couple grandkids, so we'll be, be here uh, doing good for a long time, I hope. Good. Okay. Well, thank you all. And most of all, thank you, Kelly, well, thank you. for everything. And although you've been a United Way supporter, we're also going to give you another United Way t-shirt. Oh, I need it. <laughs> thank you, you. For you and Annie. And, um, cool. Thank you. Good. Thank, thank you. you. You get a big hug. Uh, uh, yeah, thanks. Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, cool. Wonderful. Thanks. Wonderful. Thanks.